Members of the Lethbridge Fire Department were recently given the opportunity to dive into new training. 25 local firefighters earned their dive training certification over a three-day period. They are learning how to find bodies and evidence underwater with the main mission that at the end of the day they can all go home. One is being able to search in zero visibility black water, so that's like being in a closet with the lights turned off and your hands over your eyes and even a flashlight you will not see at all. On bottoms covered with debris, you know, Christmas trees, shopping carts, fishing line, fishing hooks. So they have to use their mind's eye and everything they touch, they're picturing. You know, you might just find the fingertips of a child that's buried under the silt or a handgun, you know, that's buried under the silt. So they have to move very methodically, slowly, and they have redundancy. So they have two air sources, three cutting tools. So they're prepared for anything that can go wrong under there. Andrea Zafaris travels around the world to teach the course. I'm based in New York, but I'm on the road like 200 days a year. So, you know, we get to learn from people all over the world. That's a great thing. You know, and these guys ask so many good questions, which I love. So they'll ask me something, oh, I never thought about that before. So we'll go try and research it and find it and then incorporate it into our training. Firefighter Riley McLaren says the course was an eye-opening experience. I'm a brand new diver on the team, so everything I've learned today and yesterday, and I'm sure the next two days will all be new to me, and I did not know any of this. I only had my open water dive before this. There is key information on water safety the public needs to know. If you see somebody who is not, people who drown do not wait for help, they don't call out for help, they physiologically can't. So a drowning victim who's a non-swimmer will look like this. A poor swimmer who's drowning, all you see is their head, and their head may go underwater a little bit, and it's completely silent. So the problem is most people don't recognize someone drowned until after they've drowned. So if you see someone go down, do not go in, because unless you're a trained lifeguard, it's a good chance you are going to drown yourself. So stay put and put two things on the floor in front of you, in front of that victim. Because if you put like a, a two shoes right here, as long as these two shoes are lined up in front of that victim, when the fire department comes, you can say, okay, stand behind these two shoes, and as they're lined up, the victim is out there by, you know, 20 meters. That's huge, because most of the time, the people don't look at it, and they go, it was somewhere out there. Well, that could be hundreds of feet. So line up two things, immediately call 911, and stay on scene. Even if law enforcement interview you let you go, wait till the dive team gets there, because they're going to interview you in a special way. So if possible, stay on scene. Next, drowning is the number one most common cause of accidental death of children up until the age one in the U.S. and Canada, and it's two or three for older children and adults. So how do we prevent them? One, wear a life jacket, please. That boat overturns, the life jacket and the bench is not going to do you any good. You can get nice inflatable life jackets, comfortable. They even make them on a belt now. Please wear a life jacket. Two, have a card. Your family's out in a picnic. People are in the water. You think the husband's looking at the kid. The wife thinks the husband's, you know? So have a card called designated watcher. And that card is hung around your neck. You are the watcher. Nobody stands in front of you. Nobody talks to you. You do it for 15 minutes. And you keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I keep having the eight kids. At the end of 15 minutes, you pass it off. In Lethbridge, obviously, it's, a, it's kind of a special place with our river. Uh, it changes a lot, the speeds, the depths. Uh, Henderson Lake, people, Nick Sharon, the ice is always at different levels. So just keep an eye on the city websites. We're always putting out warnings if it's good or if it's bad. And just stay safe and keep an eye on your kids. The practical course is offered every three years to local water rescue teams. Zafaris says local firefighters have an impressive record. What I love about Lethbridge, and we have Medicine Hat here also, is they they always are striving to be the best they can be. They don't shortcut, which it seems to be the way of most departments now. I'm seeing a lot of shortcutting, so they want to be the safest they can be. You know, more divers have died find, trying to find bodies than long-term drowning victims have been saved. That's a really bad number. So they have never not found the body they were looking for, ever. And I, there are very few teams that can say that. The course focuses specifically on water recovery options. For Go, I'm Fallon Wagner.